how to create a free opt-in page using group funnels hey guys today i'm going to be showing you how you can create your free opt-in page using group funnels and how to use the group funnels website builder now let's get into it first off we are on groove.cm and over here i'm just going to click on get started for free then over here you're just going to fill out your personal details and i have created my account so I'm just going to log in, but if you're just creating your new account, you're going to enter your email, you're going to enter a username, and then you're going to add your password. After that, GrooveFunnels is going to give you a few spam pages, which are usually like, don't opt out of their paid versions, buy this, buy that. You're just going to scroll to the bottom each time and then skip those. Once you have logged into your GrooveFunnels homepage or you have created your account on GrooveFunnels, this is going to be your homepage. And now you can see over here, there are a few quick links that Groove Pages provide or GrooveFunnels provides where you can get started with your general marketing tools and CRM tools. But if you take a look at the left, you have your basic toolbar where you have homepages, you have marketplace, you have app stores, you have our services, events and workshops, the GrooveFunnels application the general help settings and general feedback settings. Now, for our purpose today, we are going to be creating a website or a page, a landing page. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on get started on Groove Pages here on the home page. I'm just going to get started with Groove Pages. And over here, I'm going to click on new site. And then you can either choose one of their templates and get started with those if you want to but for today i'm going to start with a blank canvas to show you guys how easy it really is to get started so you can also choose a category that you want to have a template for and that is going to reduce the amount of work you're going to have to do by a lot as well i'm going to click on start from scratch and i'm going to name my site so let's say the best fitness and I'm going to start building. And because this is a opt-in page, you're going to keep it. Usually you're going to reduce it to only one page. You don't need to add any more pages. And then you're also going to just have like a central sign up or a central join us button. And that's around it. You don't want any further pages like a contact us page or it may be a know about us page. You know, those aren't really required. So what you're going to do is once you're here on your Groove page developer, you can see this is your home page. This is everything that you have. It's an empty canvas. And then you're just going to click on elements over here at the left. And then you can choose to start adding elements and pages as well. You can also add funnels. Now, to add funnels, you're going to click on this plus icon on the top. And you can add any of these funnels that are already present here on Groove funnels. So let's just say we have a sales and booking funnel i'm going to click on add now once your sales funnel has been applied you're going to have three more pages so you can see you have your sales and booking funnel booking page you have your sales and booking funnel home page and then you have your checkout page and what you're going to do is you can edit those later on First off, you're going to work on your home page because that is the page that people are going to be directed to first before they sign up for anything else. So if you go to your home page over here, you're going to click on elements, you're going to click on empty blocks, you're going to add an empty container. Now within this empty container, this is going to be your top header. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on text and you're going to select the style of text you want as your basic header. I'm going to click on this. I want to drag it over here. So you can see we've added this little heading. And we're going to add the best fitness like this. Then we can choose to move it to any margin that we want and expand it as well. So that's totally up to you how you want to place it and do all of that as well. You can just increase the size, change the font whatever fits best i'm going to center it a bit and i'm going to place it a bit towards the center of the box that it's in as well like this now below that you're going to add two columns now there are two ways you can do this you can choose to add this two column section or you can add three columns and have like a um, separate image column now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with two columns over here on our home page 
and our header has been reduced to this size so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this first I'm going to delete this I'm going to click on blocks click on headers over here and I'm going to add this kind of header where it's like divided in two so that's going to help out our little text to fit better now I'm going to resize this to the little section that we have and then I'm going to move down here to the borders and spacing like this I'm going to place it towards the center now you can see over here I've added this text bar and I've added some more padding to it to move it towards the right now once you have designed it according to whatever your preference is the most important part is that you add your elements now if you click here on blocks you can add a call to action block and this is the block that I prefer to add if you just click over here and go into your call to action bars now these bars are designed very well to generate high conversion rates and if you want a high conversion rate i would suggest that you use one of their call to action bars you can also design them according to some other action bar that you might have seen but that is going to take you a lot more time and a lot more effort for something that will look quite similar to these now i am just going to add this one and i'm going to move it right here once I've done that, I'm just gonna going to edit the information that is present within that call to action bar. And it's going to serve as my funnel channel where people can join my cause. So you can see you're just going to edit the text. Arjun now. And this is some other language, but we're just going to leave that as so. And once you're done with designing your website, then you're just going to click on publish. And then you're going to click on manage domains then you can just do a custom domain and then you can add a domain from GoDaddy or you can add a domain from Wix or any other domain name provider. Now let's just say the best fitness I'm gonna click on next. Okay, I'm not going to add any of these subdomains. So whatever domain name you choose to purchase, you're just going to add over here. And then you're going to update the DNS and validate your domain. After that, your site will be live and you're going to be ready to generate some good sales and have a great click-through rate. Now, once you create your opt-in page here on GrooveFunnels, if you go back into your basic dashboard, you can see on your homepage, if you scroll down over here, you can monitor your uh, site analytics so you can see in the past seven days or even in the past month how many clicks you have received how many unique visitors you have so people that are different you know obviously if you have a thousand visits um, they might be by the same person so it's also going to monitor if you're getting new viewership as well and then you also have your bounce rate bounce rate is basically the amount of people that are actually clicking on your sign up and converting from just visiting into a partner or into to opting into your service now this is just a basic version to create a very simple kind of opt-in page you can obviously improve and add more things to it as you go now as a starting point it is a very decent way to create your opt-in page on GrooveFunnels. You can do this on other website builders as well, but GrooveFunnels really does it best. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to replicate or at least create a basic looking um, opt-in page for your business or your website as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.